Welcome to several examples on how to convert metric lengths. In another video, we showed how we can use this table below in order to convert metric lengths by moving the decimal point to the left or right based upon the unit conversion. But in this example, we'll show how we can also use unit fractions in order to perform conversions of metric lengths. The first thing we should recognize is that this table provided is using meter as the basic unit and therefore the smallest unit in this table would be millimeter, where a millimeter is equal to one thousandth of a meter. The largest unit would be a kilometer, which is equal to one thousand meters. Notice for our first conversion, we're converting centimeters to meters, or from this unit to this unit, which means one centimeter is equal to one hundredth of a meter. So one centimeter is equal to one hundredth of a meter. We could also multiply both sides of this equation by one hundred and use the conversion one hundred centimeters equals one meter. And now to set this up, we're going to write the given units as a fraction. So we're going to write four hundred twenty-five centimeters over one, and now we're going to multiply by a unit fraction. In order for this to work, we need to make sure that we have the centimeters in the denominator, so the units of centimeters will simplify out. And the conversion will be from centimeters to meters. So now we can use either the first conversion or the second conversion, depending on whether we want to multiply or divide. Let's use this first conversion from the table. So since these are equal, the unit fraction would be one centimeter in the denominator and zero point zero one meters in the numerator. Notice in this form, centimeters simplify out and this product will give us our length in meters. Multiplying by 0.01 is the same as moving the decimal point to the left two times. Let's go ahead and check that. 425 times 0.01 is equal to 4.25. Therefore, our conversion is 4.25 meters. I do want to show how this looks, though, if we were to use this second conversion. It would look very similar. We'd have 425 centimeters over one times, our unit fraction would now be 100 centimeters equals one meter. Again, notice how the units of centimeters simplify out. But now this would give us 425 divided by 100 meters. Well, dividing by 100 is the same as multiplying by 100th. And just to verify this, notice 425 divided by 100 is still 4.25. So either conversion will work when we multiply and when we divide. Next, we want to convert kilometers to meters from here to here. We'll notice that one kilometer is equal to one thousand meters. Let's go ahead and set this up. Write the given units as a fraction, two, two point five kilometers over one times our unit fraction, where again kilometers must be in the denominator because we want to simplify kilometers out. The conversion is to meters. And again, the conversion is one kilometer equals one thousand meters. Kilometer simplifies out, and this product will perform our conversion. Multiplying by one thousand is the same as moving the decimal point to the right three times. Let's go ahead and verify that with the calculator. Two point five times one thousand is equal to two thousand five hundred. So this would be 2,500 meters. Now this last conversion's a little more involved. We want to convert 0 0.72 hectometers to decimeters. Because our units do not involve meters, we'll have to perform two conversions. First, notice that one hectometer is equal to 100 meters and also one decimeter is equal to one-tenth 
or 0 0.1 meters. So because we have two conversions, we'll have to multiply by two unit fractions. So we'll start with 0 0.72 hectometers over one. We'll first convert hectometers to meters. That'll require a unit fraction. Then we'll convert meters to decimeters. So for the first conversion, we want hectometers in the denominator, meters in the numerator. The conversion is one hectometer equals 100 meters. Notice now hectometers simplifies out. Now we're going to convert meters to decimeters. We must have meters in the denominator. And the conversion is one decimeter equals 0 0.1 meters. So notice that we have the correct units because meters simplifies out and we're left with 0 0.72 times 100 divided by 0 0.1 decimeters. This would be the same as multiplying by 1,000, but let's go ahead and verify this on the calculator. 0 0.72 times 100 divided by 0 0.1. Comes out to 720, so we have 720 decimeters. Okay, that'll do it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.